all the butterflies. Let's follow that one. It went this way. Let's go. I think we lost it. Oh, hi. I'm Bailey. And I'm Boggs. We're chasing a butterfly. But we lost it. Want to help us look? You do? Yippee skippy! Do you see any butterflies around? You do? Where? On my head? Let's follow it and see where it goes. Shh! Don't make any noise. We don't want to scare the butterfly away. <laughs> Oh, no. Uh -uh. Sorry. <laughs> I wish we could find more butterflies. But where? Who do we ask for help when we have questions? Da-da-da-da! Maggie, the magnifying glass. I'm Maggie, Maggie. I help to make things clear. Just look through my looking glass and answers will appear. I'm Maggie, Maggie. Come and let's explore. And we'll discover lots of things you never knew before. I'm Maggie. I know a place where we can find lots and lots of butterflies. You do? Where? It's a very special place called the rainforest. Rainforest? What's a rainforest? Just take a look. Wow! A rainforest is a wonderful place filled with lots of trees, flowers and plants. It's very, very hot and it's very, very wet. The rainforest is filled with strange and colorful animals and, of course, plenty of butterflies. Would you like to go on a butterfly safari to the rainforest? Would you like to go on a butterfly safari? You would? Me too! Yippee skippy! Let's go! Don't forget your journal! Oh yeah! Got it! My terrific scientific journal. Bring yours along too. Ready? Let's zoom in to the rainforest. Here we are. Welcome to the rainforest. Neato! You're right, Maggie. There are lots of trees. And not to mention, it's very hot and it's getting a little sticky. Trees and plants like lots of rain and hot sun because it helps them grow. It's the perfect place to find butterflies, too. Yippee skippy! Butterfly! <coughs> hey, what's that sound? Do you know? Uh, I don't know. <coughs> and I'm okay with that. Maggie, do you know? Yes, it's that bright-colored bird over there with red, yellow, and blue feathers. Whoa! Look at those feathers! It's got more colors than a box of crayons! It's a macaw. A macaw? Yes, they're known for their long tails and colorful feathers. I'm going to draw a picture of a macaw in my terrific scientific journal. <laughs> Done. Ew! The rainforest has lots of bugs. Yeah. Mmm, crunchy and tasty too. Hey, look! I think I see some butterflies. No, they're not butterflies. What are they, Maggie? They're ants, special ants. All day long, they cut out tiny pieces of leaves. Where are they going? They're taking the leaves back to their home underground. Why? They use the leaves to help grow gardens for their food. Neato! They're going in my journal, too. Ants are very, very busy little bugs. If you look around, 
you'll see there are all kinds of insects that live in the rainforest. They come in all different colours, shapes and sizes. Some are short and some are round. Others are very, very long. They are all fascinating little creatures. Where's Bugs? You see Bugs? Bugs! Hey, Bailey! Look what I found! Is it a butterfly? No, but it's really cool! It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fuzzy legs! It's a spider! Spiders have eight legs! Look at him go! Do you hear that? I know what animal makes that sound. Do you? A monkey! <laughs> Do you see him? He's way up in the tree. Monkeys live in trees. It's where they eat, sleep, and where they play, too. Whoa! Look at him go! <laughs> He's cute. Hey, Maggie, look! <laughs> I'm a monkey! Come on, you can do it too! Be a monkey! <laughs> Yippee Skippy! That was fun! <laughs> Done! Bugs? Bugs, where are you? Here I am! I'm swinging like a monkey! Be careful, Bugs! Here I come! Ooh. Bailey, have you noticed that different animals live in different parts of the rainforest? On the floor of the rainforest, we saw busy ants and that scary-looking spider. Larger animals, like alligators, live on the rainforest floor too. The area above the rainforest floor is called the understory. Here, you'll find snakes who spend their day curled around branches or vines. Spiders live in the understory too. You'll also find many kinds of fascinating looking frogs of all shapes and sizes. Higher up in the trees is the rainforest canopy. There are many kinds of monkeys that live in the canopy. They use their arms and legs and even tails to swing from branch to branch. Everything the monkey needs to live, including food, is found in the canopy of the rainforest. Some trees grow higher than the others and make up another area of the rainforest called the emergent layer. There, you'll find many kinds of birds, like the macaw and the toucan. Look! I think I see a butterfly! Oh, that's not a butterfly. It's a dragonfly. It has a long, thin body and large wings, Kind of like a butterfly. If you ask me, it's kind of scary looking. Dragonflies are cool, but I'd still like to find some butterflies. I'm sure we'll find some soon. The flowers around here are really different from the flowers in my backyard. Look at this one. It's fuzzy and it tickles. <laughs> if there are flowers, there are sure to be butterflies. Let's keep looking. The rainforest is very green. Green just happens to be my favorite color. Look, a caterpillar. A cap a capitiller? A cat a what? A caterpillar. It's kind of like a baby butterfly. But it has no wings. It will someday. You see, a butterfly starts as an egg. The egg hatches into a caterpillar. The caterpillar forms a little pouch called a cocoon. And then it grows into a beautiful butterfly. Neato! 
Look over there, Bailey. What do you see? Yippee Skippy! It's a butterfly! What's he doing? Butterflies like to drink the sweet juice from flowers. It's called nectar. Oh. Ooh, there's another butterfly. It's got spots on its wings. Neato. Maggie, what are those things sticking out of its head? They're antennae. They are little feelers that help the butterfly learn about the world around them. Cool. Maggie, can we take the butterfly home with us? Well, it's best to leave it here, because the rainforest is the butterfly's home. Oh, I understand. But you can draw the butterflies in your journal. Don't forget the antennae. It's important to protect all the plants and animals that live in the rainforest. Why? Because the rainforest is important to all of us. Half of all the plants and animals on Earth live in the rainforest. Cool! The trees and plants in the rainforest make up much of the Earth's oxygen. And everyone needs oxygen to breathe. Plus, many medicines we take when we're sick come from the rainforest plants. That's why the rainforest is so important to everyone. I had a great time looking for butterflies and seeing all the other animals in the rainforest. But I have one more question. Why do they call it a rainforest? Because it rains a lot. Let's go! Thanks, Maggie. That was fun. It's always fun to learn new things. I kind of wish I had a butterfly of my own. You can. How? Take some construction paper and cut out the shape of a butterfly. Then color it, but make sure each half looks the same. Put a small hole in the top of the butterfly's head. Take a pipe cleaner and twist it through the hole to make it look like antennae. Glue the butterfly to one end of a craft stick. While it's drying, colour a cardboard tube to look like a cocoon. Curl the butterfly's wings and slide it into the tube. Pull the stick out to make your beautiful butterfly appear. Neato! Thanks, Maggie. Let's look at all the neat things we learned today. Today, we visited a rainforest. It was hot and wet. We saw a pretty colored bird called a macaw that lived at the top of the tree. On the rainforest floor, we saw those busy little ants. Remember, Boggs found a scary looking spider too. Up in the canopy, we saw monkeys swinging from branch to branch. And don't forget that strange looking bug called a dragonfly. Then we saw a tiny caterpillar eating leaves. And finally, we saw pretty butterflies. That was a fun adventure. Let's go exploring again tomorrow. Yippee Skippy! Let's go! Want to explore? Neato! It's another Something new.